All right, guys, get the hood on. I'm getting ready to put the belly pan on, but I'm not sure if I showed you guys this. You guys, this I wanted to show you. Um, well, here is the skid plate, which I'm. I think I'm gonna end up getting a new one. I heated it up and tried bending it back because it was just torqued and twisted to all get out. So um, I'm thinking they probably hit a stump or something because it went clear through the skid plate and ended up being right here. Well, the old bumper, let me see if I can grab it real quick. Well, here's the, here's the old bumper. I mean, it's broke. Clean through. I mean, both sides. And I guess it's usable to a point, you know, but um, I ended up, I, opting, I opted to get a new one. So this whole section right here, though, was just caved in like, I don't know, gosh, a couple inches right here. And so I ended up having to hammer that out and uh, it broke a couple spots, but I welded everything back together. It turned out pretty good. So, um, yeah, just putting the finishing touches here. <clears throat> I'm going to have to, uh, hood needs some work. I mean, it's not in the best shape, but that's going to be going on it. But for now, um, I already did one start. You guys have already seen that. So I'm going to put this uh, skid plate on and And then what I wanted to do is get it up on the stand and, uh, it seemed like the idle idle was a little high, so I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out, and then um, I had to do a repair right here as well. And this piece on the inside that g inserts into this corner has the clip nut for the the bolt right here that the the hinge bolt for the hood. And so that was broke. I tried using JB Weld, didn't work out very well, ended up breaking. So I took some, uh, I think it's ABS plastic and bent that up and um, ended up contouring it. And it seems like it's holding. I got two more rivets on here, like on the inside of the piece itself. And then two, obviously three right there. And then there's also a screw that goes through that piece and then screws into a uh, anchor on the inside of the bumper right like that but it's on this side so and then there's gonna be uh, this all gets screwed up with the um, the skid plate there so I'm gonna put it all together uh, it's it it's pretty solid at this point, so I think it's going to turn out good. You know, like I said, eventually I'll get a, a skid plate. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a couple weeks more around here, at least, that we're going to get snow. I mean, we got a few, we got about four inches on the ground now, but it's warming up, so that's all going to melt away. So I'm going to try and, I'm going to get the skid plate on and then try and get this, I'm going to get it up on the stand, run it through another heat cycle and some revving, figure out the idle, and then I'd like to get it out in the field today and uh feel it out a little bit but so far so good so we're getting done here it's it's, it's uh coming coming to a close so i will give a full walk around once uh once everything's buttoned up so all right i'm gonna do uh heat cycle number three
like I'm at the end of the, uh, the idle adjustment, so I readjusted the carbs to uh, two out on the fuel screw and one and a quarter on the air. So I think I might change that up a little bit. So that's it. It's doing good. Uh, I'm not feeling heat as a heat exchanger though. guys I'm like permagrin I just got back from my first ride on this thing wow it is a beast I just did 10 miles and uh, you know just went through the revving uh, went through the rpm range and man this thing is unbelievable I mean my arms hurt uh, call me a wuss I don't know but phew. It is good to go. I believe the only the only problem I have the only problem I'm having is uh, for some reason it's it's still idling high and I got it set to factory. So um, well, no, I take that back. I was completely wrong about that. Okay, so it drops down to like twenty two hundred, and then it sits there for like three four seconds and then it drops down to like 1600 1500 and then it'll sit there for like 10 seconds and then it drops down to like a thousand to 1100 so i'm not exactly sure what's going on um i have everything set um to the factory and i got my idle screw is all the way in it's right down there it's that guy and you can you know you screw it or unscrew it now oh, it's hot um you screw it in and it'll raise raise the idle well i got that sucker like all the way down and it doesn't want to excuse me it doesn't want to um doesn't want to idle off or stop at 1500 it ends up going down to a thousand like 1100 if i let it sit and idle I mean, it could be because, yeah, I'm going to get a new seat. I don't like it. Did the job for first ride, baby. <laughs> I got 50 premix in there. And stupid me, when I went out, I didn't, uh, I didn't check and see how much oil I used. That was stupid. So I'm going to have to do that again. Um... That's probably the only other thing. So maybe what I was getting at is maybe the reason that it's going down like that is because of the premix. You know, so I wouldn't think that would do it. I mean, the only reason I think that is because the manual says that um, it should be 100 to 1. And I just figured it to be the same and I mixed 50 to 1. So it's not smoking terribly, but... Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a mean machine. So, yeah, it looks like the uh, the satin finish kind of went away on the exhaust for some reason. But still, looks good. I still have to refinish this. So I just wanted to get it out. We're gonna, the next two weeks are gonna be warm. So any snow we get out there now is just going to melt. So as far as that goes, I'm not going to be able to ride for the next two weeks. I would like to take this thing up to uh, the trail up north. So hopefully I'll be able to figure out that um, that idling issue and uh, go from there, I guess. I mean, you shouldn't really have to, I mean, especially if it's fully rebuilt. I mean, I got the crank rebuilt. I mean, the crank fully rebuilt. 
the pistons, rings, the uh, hole in the cylinders. I went through everything. It's got new wrist pins, uh, wrist pin bearings. Uh, I think it's got new rods as well is what they said. Um, went through the carburetors. I mean, you guys saw everything I did. I went through everything. And so you should just be able to set it at factory settings, which is um, two turns out on the, the fuel mixture screw and then one and a half turns out on the air mixture screw. And so these are a little different because they got the air and the fuel mixture screws. For me, I'm only used to the, the other carbs, the round slide carbs, which only have the air mixture screw, so. And I'm, you know, I've never really been a carb tuner, so that's kind of where I'm at with all this, so. All right. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update, update you guys as far as the first ride. It was amazing. I wish I could have took you guys along. I mean, it's just, it's got so much horsepower and so much torque that, I mean, like I said, my arm's starting to like hurt just from holding this thing up because it's already sore just from this ride. How, I mean, I don't know. It's just it's so powerful. And, you know, granted, it's not like a Thundercat or anything, which is a thousand cc triple, but still, um, it's the fastest sled I own to date, so. But yeah, uh, thanks for following along. Uh, still going to be doing little stuff to this over the course of uh, the rest of the winter. And, um, you know, just little little maintenance things after break-in. i got to tighten the track back up. Uh, just putting little uh, caps on things and buttoning things up, little detail stuff. You know, a new seat if I can get to that point. And... Uh, yeah, just little little things like that. Um, I'm going to have to get some type of this thermostat. It has a temperature gauge, but it came out of the, like when I first ran it, it came out of the end of this thing here. So that's another thing. So just little stuff, cleaning the whole, you know, hood up. I'm going to end up cleaning that guy up putting that on there so i'll show you guys all that so don't worry but uh you know thanks for following along i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed the journey like i did um still not done it's never done the journey's never done there's always something you can do always in, always something you can improve or another sled <laughs> so all right guys i really appreciate it i'm gonna i know this is like the third or fourth time i've said okay but uh you know, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that alert button. Share with your family and friends on social networking. Whoever you think would get a kick out of this, share it with them. Tell them to subscribe if they want to see more videos like this. Like it. Comment. Like I said, you know, if you guys have any questions about it or comments, um, anything that I can do to improve my way of uh, rebuilding things, I'd greatly appreciate it. So, all right, guys. Take care. God bless. We will see you in the next video. Come on back.